Thanks very much for joining us. News on the injury, how are you? Getting over it. Um, started back running beginning of the week, slowly, but uh, the ankle should be back to full capacity by the time October 29th comes. You've been doing obviously a bit of light sparring and stuff. Is this the start of your camp or are you just sticking over? Um, I'm wearing about 19, 8, 19, 9, so I've got less than a stone to lose and I've got 15 weeks, so I'm just playing about at the moment, just playing games, practicing, being in the gym with a champ, you know, that sort of stuff. Inspiring the lads. When does the camp start in earnest? What's, what's the plan for it? Camp started on Monday, but we're going to serious training around about 12 weeks out. We're 15 weeks out at the minute, so we we'll take over, enjoy what we're doing and enjoy our time as we're living. How disruptive and frustrating has it been uh, to have this fight cancelled? Sure, I believe everything happens for a reason, as everybody well knows, so it happened because it wanted to happen and um, that was about it really. It wasn't frustrating, I, I only spent 30 or 40 grand on training camps, injured my foot, sparring partners, hotels, flights, everybody, so it's only money and it's there for spending. Win some, you lose some. Last few years, there's been a lot of disruption, haven't there? You've had, you know, fights cancelled and things like that. Is yeah, that just the nature of the business? Plenty cancelled on me, so it's about time I cancelled on somebody else. Plenty. Conversely, money aside, might it have done you a favour? I mean, you've had more time to prepare now. Not really. We already had plenty of time to prepare. I've had nearly a year to prepare, so if I wasn't going to be ready then, I'm not going to be ready in uh, another few months. Don't forget, I didn't fight last November. It's now mid-July. That's a long time in gap, isn't it? So if I wasn't going to be ready, I'll never be ready. When the fight was launched, Tyson, I mean, you seemed at a bit of a low ebb. You'd uh, you piled on a little bit of weight. You were saying you were a bit demotivated with boxing. I mean, were you just at a low ebb, or was no, is, no is that as it is? It's all games. I'm the master of disaster, the king of sting. All them things that you want to say. That's me, the master at mind games, the the best psychology in the world. I have done a doctor in mind games, a doctor of psychology. I beat him in mind games. So what does that make me, a professor? So everything I do, I do it for a reason. I don't just do things off the hook. Everything I've done is planned by me and done so to you, perfection. Your mind's back in the right place, is it? Are you, your mind's never been out of the right place, to be honest. In terms of the long term, though, are you the type of champion who is still in love with boxing? You want to be around for a long time? You want a legacy? Most definitely. Not interested in legacies, I've told you that. I'm interested in zeros on the bank account, fighting for 50, 60 million a time and enjoying myself. Are you in it for the long haul though? You say not about legacy, but it's a very historic championship that you've got. There's a lot of great names of Yeah, had it. a lot of great names, but I'm the greatest of them. Me, Tyson Fury, the one and only. Your press has not been the best since that fight was cancelled. Does that get on your nerves? Uh, I thought it's been good press, to be honest. Yeah, it's been really good press. There's no such thing as bad press. So, that's it, it's all good. But obviously there was a bit of criticism, the fight got cancelled, you're having a pint or two in, in France and things like that. Does that I have a you? pint or two in training camp, what's that got to do with anybody else while I do? Well, you're your own I spent, man. I spent but... about 2,500 quid on shots for fans and drinks, so, you know. You've said you're the best heavyweight on the planet and you said that some time ago. Is there anything Vladimir Klitschko can bring to change that at all? What's the plan? Is it going to be a repeat I'm performance? Remove his jaw from his head first. You're going to be picking his ribs up off the floor and I'm going to be victorious once again. Then I'm going to fly to New York, I'm going to drink all of Guinness and whiskey that's in New York, and then I'm going to go to Orlando and have a time with the kids and wife. So there we go. That is the plan. That's the man I am, always will be. No one can beat me, the king of the ring. The well, gypsy warrior, the gypsy king.